Hello, I'm Carla, and welcome back to Carla Astrology. So, continuing on with the palmistry series, um, today we're going to talk about the Mount of Apollo, otherwise known as the Sun Mount, and that is underneath your ring finger. And the Sun Mount is all about success. Um, so a few things from the previous videos that I want to make clear um, are which hand to read, your dominant hand. So for myself, I'm right-handed, so I would read my right hand to get information from the present. Now, uh, my left hand is the potential I was born with. So that is because I'm right-handed. The left hand is the potential I was born with. So if you are left-handed, possibly that could be the opposite. Uh, some systems believe that uh, right hand is standard and left hand is the potential you were born with. And so your dominant is what you've done with that potential. <clears throat> if one mount in your hand is larger than the others, or it is the dominant mount, that also means that you have dominant traits that belong with that mount. Like if the moon mount is larger than the rest of the mounts in your hand, then you would be considered a Lunarian. Um, if your Venus mount is the largest one, then you would be considered a Venusian. Same with Mercury and Jupiter and Apollo. And uh, So I think we get the gist of that. Um, another question that was asked that I would also like to address is um, depending on your size physically, does that have anything to do with your the reading of your mounts or your hand? Um, in my opinion, no. So like even a person that is overweight could have a very firm hand or just the opposite. <clears throat> um, you are comparing your hands to yourself. It's all about you in a reading, not comparing your hand to someone else. So those things should be irrelevant. Although a fleshy or spongy palm, if the mounts are spongy, that is an indication of being uh, physically lazy. Um, just not as physical as somebody that has a firm hand because of a firm hand is somebody that is very practical, willing to put in the hard work to get the things done that they want to do, <clears throat> that they've set their mind to. So on the sun mount, a very important line called the sun line. The sun line is in this vicinity. So when I say in that vicinity, it could be it could start down here and it could veer off or it could start here and veer off. It could start here and veer off this way. It could start here. It could start here, but it's still in this area right here. Mine is actually just very short and it's right here. <laughs> <clears throat> now the sun line is a sister line to the fate line and the fate line is right here. The fate line is all about your, uh, it's all about success also. Um, the difference between the two is the sun is an indication of somebody that is famous for their success. And the fate line is just about, uh, or the destiny line is another word for it. So I think you get the idea. It is, um, our, our, our life dreams, our life work. Um, and that changes, you know, or it could change as far as, um, a field that you're in. So the fate line 
predominantly does not change as far as the appearance of it, the sun line can because it is considered a minor line. So a person that has a line that starts down by the wrist and goes all the way up the line is considered a very lucky person. That person uh, could possibly win the lottery or has won the lottery or is very wealthy. Um, a person whose line starts again down here and goes all the way up the palm Usually, that means that they have gained fame long be or like way before the age of 30. So it could have happened as a child, a teenager. So it's kind of um, in indicative. If it's here, it would be uh, maybe possibly before 30 or 30. Maybe in here around the age of 40. Up here, about 50. And that's kind of the timeline that you find success. So it begins here, down here somewhere, and ends up in here somewhere. So this is the beginning. So your younger years are here, and here's where it ends. That would be your older years. Um, also, not everybody has a sun line. So the sun line is a sister line, which means a sister line is in support of the line that it is parallel to. So a line, you can have a sister line on your uh, lifeline, and it just means it's support. It's like added support to that line and what it could mean. So having a sun line is, is a very good thing if you have it with a fate line. If you don't have a fate line and you have a sun line, then it's more like just having a fate line, but you, um, you could possibly be famous and just having a fate line without the sun line means that you're, you not, you don't necessarily have fame included with the accomplishments. You're not as, you're not well known for those accomplishments and success is what you consider success. So that could be a success in your family. You've got to, you know, you've done everything you wanted to do. It's great. You're doing everything you want to do. That's great. You're happy. That's a successful family life. You're successful in your field of work. Um, you know, success is different to everybody. Um, so let's talk about the, the little auspicious signs that we find in our hands that are on the sun line. And the reason I am, uh, talking about the sun line is because it is about your sun mount also. It's, it's very, um, important to the sun, to your Mount of Apollo. So a star anywhere on the sun line is like a burst of energy, like a, a major idea that happened at that time. So if you have one down here you had one at an early age like an epiphany and you and you followed it through and uh because of that you know long into uh your life and after you've even left this world you left a legacy because of it so and that also again that could happen anywhere on that line but that's um an indication of the time that it happened is when you had that epiphany or that burst of energy an island on the sun line is a, it's a time of depression. So, uh, and, and that was something that maybe held you back or just, you know, uh, you just weren't happy about where things were going, either in your career, your family or whatever. But it's, again, it's all kind of comes back to that same idea of what you would find as being successful. Um, a cross or a scissor is also a struggle or an obstacle in your journey to success. A dot, um, that's, that's indicative of somebody that is jealous of your success. Um, also if, if that line 
that's in this vicinity, your sun line, if it veers off towards a different mount, those, those mean different things. And one of the main ones is, <clears throat> or a more important sign to look for, is if it um, veers towards Saturn, which is your middle finger. And that is somebody that um, might be famous, but might be famous for something that wasn't good. Like they had a bad reputation or they have a bad reputation. Um, let's see. There's also, um, like just a straight line that goes across it. So like if it's, this is Venus here and here's your sun line. And if there's a line that is in the vicinity of where Venus is, then that is also like, say, uh, somebody that um, your partner or somebody you're romantically involved with does something to hinder your success. Um, family would be if it's somewhere over on this side and the line touches, like say a line touches your sun line, then that is family. Or all, no, I take that back. That's, that's not family. That's if it's up higher in the in the Mars range. Sorry about that. In the Mars range, that's when it's possibly family might have hindered something that you were working towards. Um, cheated you out of something. Maybe, maybe uh, stole money from you or did something that you took as like, um, and sometimes that happens, you know, a family member. Um, sometimes we get a line that is like broken, but you can tell it's still that same line. That is a person that is considered a jack of all trades, master of none. Um, if you have uh, a a rectangle or a a square, we I think we talked about the square is a sign of protection. So the the square is like uh, a point where you might have saved yourself some heartache you saved money you did something you created something like a backup plan um a a triangle on the sun line on the sun line is also an indication of somebody that is um famous not only locally but could possibly be famous internationally because we know triangles are good um and if you have a lot of a lot of lines that cross your sun line, that is a person that um, might be a little bit flighty or they just uh, they, they have all these great intentions, you know, the, the person. Oh, I, and, and then they just get distracted and they do something else. So um, but they have all these great ideas, but they just it's like a flickering mind. They just kind of it's on and off. Um I got some other things written down. The next thing that I would really like to um, get into before we go to another, before I do another video is, um, I talked about it before, is like a timeline. So um, I we kind of covered it a little bit by talking about like down here is where the line begins. So those are your younger years when things happen. Um, and at the end are in your later years when things happen. So another one on your lifeline without actually going into details about your lifeline. Um, if is if you split it in half right here, that's like 49 years. So again, that's like, that's 49 years that keeps going. That would hit here and that makes that. Let's see, that's 49. I guess it just kind of depends on the line. But that is one way to, um, you, you split your line in half, and that's the middle of, um, like an average life might be 80. 90 is really good. So you would split that in half, and then you would split it again from that middle point to get another, like, 20 years, 40 years, or... 
or, or 50 years. So that is the idea of how we um, can look in somebody's hand and see where something might have happened. You know, like again, and you look for those signs. Is it a, is it a cross? Is it a star? Um, is it an island? Somebody that has a, a chained sun line is somebody that struggles constantly. So, I mean, you would think um, the sun line is good, but if it's, if it's chained, then that's somebody that's struggling to be successful. Doesn't mean that they're not going to be successful, but it just means that it is a constant struggle for them. So that's, that's really about the gist of everything I want to cover today. <laughs> Cause uh, I would like to keep this video not that long. <laughs> um, and if you have questions, please, please feel free to ask them because I love to, um, get you the answers that you're looking for. And this is a series that might take a little bit. And so if we just get a little bit here and there, maybe I know it helps me to retain it more. And, um, I will just leave it at that because there is so much more, but, um, maybe, uh, Give me your questions and we'll go from there. So thank you again for joining and I hope to see you soon. Love, light, and I'll see you soon. Bye.